Hey everyone, October was kind of a wild month. So I know it's been a little bit since you saw me last and I am glad to be back. Uh, I was sick for a couple of weeks, so that kind of knocked me out for a while. Then Halloween was just, you know, last weekend or the weekend before, depends on when this video drops. Um, I love Halloween. I've been working on a Viking costume for a long time. So you can see uh, I was Ragnar Lothbrok from Vikings on the History Channel. And um, so I spent a little bit of time doing that instead of van work. So I do have one more uh, light switch video. It's a toggle rocker with an LED light in it that I want to show you. And uh, uh, with that, let's jump right into it. This switch is a rocker or a toggle, whatever you'd like to call it. And it has a little red LED light for when it's powered on. To wire this up with the lever nuts and your source and a light, the instructions show that this brass pin here goes to the negative. So the negative of the light and the negative or the ground of your source. So because of that, you need a three lever nut. And the switch came with these plugs. So you just slide that on, connect it into your lever nut, and you're good to go. The middle one is for the power. Okay, so that's bringing power from the source, this two lever nut, to the switch itself. And then you also need to the load. Now, I don't know why they decided to give another black cable here. Maybe they should have given white or just some other color, but not to be confused with the negative or the ground. Uh, this last one goes to the load, uh, which is your light itself. So the positive of the light and a two lever nut. And now when you have your source power turned on and you rock the switch, there it is. You have your LED light on and you know that it's in the on position because of the red LED light is on. And that's it. Well, I hope you liked that light switch instruction. Uh, I believe that's the fourth switch. Uh, I won't do any more switches for a while, uh, but they are necessary, right? Um, we're learning, we're teaching, you never know what kind of switch you wanna use, so, so now you have some options to choose from. And uh, now I'm gonna tease you for what's to come. Uh, here is what I'm gonna call as a failed headliner shelf. I'll get into more of those details later. And way over here, I have this little corner mock-up of a, uh, a box with a couple of drawers I'm gonna build. It's gonna be all about teaching myself 8020, Blum drawer glides, inset, drawer faces so that they're flush with the frame, not in front of the frame. And also uh, the, the marine slam latches. So stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one.